the, the bootleggers suppliers are coming in from the Titan Waste, which mm-hmm. is an um, uh, ba- ancient battleground. Well, it's not so ancient now, but it's been running for hundreds of years between the Ood and the Dwarves. And it's just full of magical fallout and, and wreckage and, and horrible things. And old traps and spell turrets and things like that that have been messed up right. and are still functional. It's basically the Mornland of, of this setting. Uh, you go there and there's all kinds of horrible weirdness that's bad. Um, and so the suppliers have a caravan that's just skirting the edge of this thing. Mm-hmm. And so we fly out there um, and we roll well on our our eagle check. It's so, good because the guy who is like, well, you could fly out there if you want to, but there's a reason that I don't. So. Yeah. <laughs> but we rolled really good, so we're like, what are these? Did they just went way around. On the well, basically, it's suicide. Flying over okay. the Titan Waste yeah. is suicide there's, because there's they don't want little, people flying over. Yeah, there's, there's anti aircraft <laughs> right. okay. uh, emplacements and stuff that'll shoot you down and weird things. Uh, so yeah, we get a really good roll, so we're able to take a very safe, circuitous route that mm-hmm. avoids all the danger spots. And we get to where the caravan is supposed to be, and we find a caravan in the midst of being demolished by... Hey, dwarves? Well, not dwarves, no. Uh, this is the leftover magical weaponry and, and oh, autonomous okay. stuff that is littering the Titan Waste. Of course. So they're... Um, they're- uh, the car- there's a bunch of dead ood laying around. Their caravans are half buried in sand, and they're fighting something. And everyone lands, yeah. and there's like a rumbling, and they say, "Oh no, it's coming back," or something like yeah. that. Yeah, mm. yeah. We got there just sort of like in a lull. There were a lot of dead ood, but there were some live ones, and everything was just sort of like everyone was like, you know, like, what's going on? So we arrive, and then there's a rumbling. And then these three uh, weird pillars of magical energy come erupting out of the ground in random places around the, the, the battle board. Mm-hmm. Uh, and these presage the appearance of things. They're not something you can attack directly. Okay. Um, but we all get ready to attack anything that's going to pop up. Uh, yeah, everyone readies in action. And, and as like a special rule for this combat, I said that you have to pick what you're readying for. And, and I figure with like a ranged weapon, you can change. But I, what I did is I just had it. If you pick right, you get a plus four. Mm. If you pick wrong, you get a minus four okay. on like what where you're going to actually aim. Right. So it was a, sort of a special rule for this yeah. combat. <clears throat> so we all, you know, get ready for get ready for a fight. Oh, and Rovain showed up. Right. Uh, so we had an archer, this an extra archer in this one. Yeah, she that, that was uh, she she will she that was they spent the night at the yeah. inn and uh, she and uh, she, uh, Aurora woke up with Rovain laying on her face because that's yeah. what cats always do. Well, not yeah. always, but some cats yeah. do. We had some speculation about whether Rovain would be killed by the cataclysm. Mm. She's not an arcane caster, but she is sort of heavily enchanted. magically enchanted. Yeah. So. Uh, and also, if the apocalypse happens, will it remove the curse? Will it leave her, change her? Cat Yes, yeah, or, stuff like that. Or will it so, stick her yeah. if yeah. She's, now she's a cat? Yeah. yeah, so none of that was answered, but right. uh, it was issues that came up we hadn't thought of before. Uh, but Cricket doesn't care because Rovain doesn't own a share of her. Right. So, uh, anyway, so... Uh, what erupts from the ground are mostly living spells. Well, one of one of the pillars just explodes. Mm. It just makes an explosion that if there had been anyone around it, they would have taken a bunch. There was of a big lightning explosion. Mm. Uh, Another one, a big. Yeah, it was a it was a oozing green, snotty, sizzling web of yeah. goo, like like long tendrils yeah. that pull Turn, apart. Turns out it was a oozing living, through the th- air. A living spell. Uh, that was a combination of acid orb and web, I think it yeah, was. Yeah, so it was a corrosive web, yeah. I think you called it. Yeah. yeah, it was a big web of oozing, snotty acid. Yeah. Croesus yeah. decided to solo that one. Mm. Um, he, Which actually worked really well, because it grabbed a hold of him, wrapped it around him like a net, and sucked him into the acid. And I'm like, okay, you know, it does this, and it does 10 ongoing acid damage. He's like, oh yeah, that's great, I ignore 10 ongoing acid damage. Yeah. And so he was just inside the the yeah. Croesus spell, completely ignoring it, yeah. stabbing it from the inside. <laughs> I think didn't he take some damage once Serendipity then goes through our top of our tower, Shepherd Soul strides through time, set it on fire? I think he took a tiny bit of damage. Yeah. Because they, they did some checks and yeah. they discovered that that thing was um, uh, vulnerable to fire, and furthermore, it's like explosive. So if but if someone's inside it when you light it on fire, they take the fire damage too. Right. Yeah. 
So so she set it on fire, and that was what started damaging Pegasus. But still, not not any significant. Yeah, they didn't have too much trouble with that thing. The uh, real problem was the other thing. Mm. It was some kind of weird giant construct that seemed to be an amalgamation of a whole lot of magic items all stuck together with magic. Okay. Magic, 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 yeah. magic, magic. And magic. essentially out of that spot, a huge limb came out uh, of magical items and impaled the Ood, that was, the Ood caravan guard who was there yeah. and killed him yeah. and then went back under the, mm. the sand. Just took a couple rounds. But yeah. That's... Um, yeah. And so it went back down under, and, and we killed the acid web thing. And and, Af- and after it went back down under, three new ma- three new spots appeared. Uh, but before that map. happened, oh no, the the thing that they appeared, we went and started positioning to to get ready for them, mm-hmm. and then everything exploded, right? No, then then it came out again. No, it came out again. And, yeah, oh, okay. and that's when that uh, one of the things exploded in like black stuff, and then the other one, this big oozing black. Tendrils. Oh, the, the finger, the finger thing. With with like fingers came out. Yeah, okay. it's like withering touch or something. It was right. ever Wh- black tentacles stuff. mixed with withering touch. Okay. Yeah. And so there was these withering fingers swirling uh-huh. around. Yeah. And yeah. the the appendage burst out again. Yeah. And Rovain had a ready was ready with her mm. bow and she was hidden and she shot it and took <clears throat> and killed it. Busted off the, the whole hand. the whole leg. Yeah. And um, oh, the thing that came out. I don't know if it was And it, there was a thing, huge right? shriek, like the shriek when it came out, and then the whole ground just <laughs> roared as something underneath the ground he moved around. He took the sheet of paper yeah. that was a battle board and just sort of went <laughs> like that. And then, however, our characters yeah, all yeah. fell. Yeah. That was the new arrangement. And, and I erased the sand dudes because they're fighting on. It's like sand, but it's it's all black. It's black sand, okay. black sand dunes. Mm-hmm. And I just erased the sand dunes and drew new ones. And wherever you were, that's where you are now. Right. Yeah, yeah it was hilarious because Hank actually went diagonally from one corner of the map to the other part <laughs> of the map. Most of us were in very roughly where we'd been before, but somehow he wound up getting <laughs> thrown all the way across, and uh, that sort of surprised him. Um, right, and that and that's actually why at that same moment, because that all that all happened as the ready to action when that thing burst out, and that's why the, also that tentacle thing had just appeared mm. then too, and that's why Croesus then did a, a charge on it, but he was prone, but he mm. some of it half speed, and yeah. he did a crit, and so we said that you know the rolling sand pushed him forward and he <laughs> hurled vertically or horizontally towards yeah. the, the 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 thing, t- the, the touchy thing, not, yeah. not the big. Man, yeah, uh, that was spiky destroyed. Tentacle. Yeah, so he did a uh, yeah a ready to action that was a prone crawl uh, charge and did a massive amount of damage with that. And then and then oh yeah, I hit it with something that caused it so that whenever it made an attack, everyone around it would make opportunity attacks. Yeah, that and was so, good. And so um, so it immediately tried doing something and then Croesus hit it again with yeah. an opportunity attack. And so. You know, we, we commented, or I commented, how amusing this was, but, you know, Croesus was just massacring this thing, and it was entirely reflex action. <laughs> he hadn't actually had a turn or even thought about anything. Right, it was all just, yeah. you know, this is his default reflex. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. just it's the ganglion in his spine is <laughs> making him scuttle through the ground. And yeah. Well, they had bloodied him. it on its turn before yeah, he did yeah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't know. I think it. I think it killed a couple of the caravan guard minions. Yeah, and in the process took a bunch of damage. Yeah, those caravan guards are there just there to show. Ooh, it's dangerous. Mm, you know, yeah, they're warping stan- it. Standard c- cinematic thing. There's yeah. always the those guys. And um, uh, well, I was I was doing a thing where on their I didn't bother calculating it because it was too much of a pain. But on their turn, I just said how many of them are still alive. Okay, times five. That's how much damage I do to the monsters, right? Mm-hmm. Because that just was way easier than having them do all their attacks. Yeah. Uh, and then I've just described. There's there's lots of our magic users. A couple of them are not, or or they're more melee anyway. Yeah. But, um. But yeah, the, those guys are sort of popping. Um. But, I mean, they basically just destroyed that thing. Oh yeah. Uh, like they did whale on. I don't think it even. It killed a couple minions and that's it. They destroyed yeah. it. I don't think it managed to land blows on. I know Cricket is unhurt in any of this. And I don't think Aurora has been touched. Yeah, what was Crosis the third is monster? Over. It was like a big. It was just exploded again. Oh, okay. It was yeah. Each yeah. time there was an explosion, a living spell, and an appendage. Yeah. Presumably they, so they, that the ones if you want to mob them with melee guys, you know, it's a right, one, one in yeah. three chance that you're just throwing your melee guys into a bomb. Yeah. And uh, but they killed the appendage, but then. At the right at the end of that turn in the next session, 
three new spots appeared, mm. magical spots. Yeah, so it's not over yet. And that's right. where this session yeah. ended. Mm. Alright, there it is. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh. Dang it, I missed. Oh, now it's over there. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. the most excellent use of a, of a fire. Quite spectacular, in fact. Whoa! Oh! Oh, Ravain, it's you! I... Wh why are you on my face? Meow. Uh... Why are we in a tavern? Why is Hank drunk? Why are we now on eagles? And where did the large tentacles burst out of the sand come from? most unfortunate that I cannot feel my fingers anymore and that they still feel like paws and that I can't shoot an arrow straight. Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna keep my armor up because things don't make sense. Because I was inside green ooze fire but it didn't hurt me, and I'm just gonna keep my armor up because I'm next to, uh, it's black and it's got arms, and I just killed it, and it's not there anymore, and now I'm somewhere else, and I'm just gonna keep my armor up, and things are gonna be okay. 